Hey, what's up, you guys? This wasn't a video I was gonna make, but I'm making it now. I, this is important. It's very important. Are you ready? Welcome to my mug collection. How's it going? My name is Charlie, and I have many mugs. The first one that I like to show you is this Tasmanian Devil cookie mug. I like, it's very dirty, but it has cookies on it, and I like to put milk in it when I have cookies because it fits, okay? And this is another, I mean, it's clean, but it's still in the sink. It's my Nicktoons mug. I got it from ThinkGeek. They're a good website. Mind you, this is not my entire mug collection, mostly because over the years I've gotten rid of the ones that are not like super excitingly fun. I've kept like my favorite and unique ones. So here's another one. I like to drink hot cocoa out of this mug. It's a good hot cocoa mug because of the gradient and it looks like a mug of cocoa. Here's another cocoa mug. I like cocoa mugs. I believe this one used to be my roommate's before they left. But it's see-through. A little bit. That's why I kept it. It's very unique. It's a unique mug. This is uh, just a plain white mug. I don't know why I have it. I think I was going to make an art piece out of it. Here we have my very largest mug. I used to be very into really big mugs back in the day. And it's the size of my entire head. I'm a big fan of big mugs. I don't use it very much because it truly takes a lot of liquid to fill this up. I have a very small coffee maker which only makes four cups of coffee, so if I want to fill it with coffee, I must make two entire pots of coffee, at least. Here is another mug that I got at Goodwill. It's this fantastic father, and it's kind of the shape of a stein, and I like it a lot. I did not have a fantastic father, but I got it because I'm a fantastic father. Next we have this Scendant mug because my mom used to work there and I've had this maybe 15 years and the handle broke a very long time ago but my mother fixed it because I was living with her when it happened and I think I only kept it because it was like one of my first mugs that I really really enjoyed. It is a little dirty. I do have to hand wash all of my dishes and I'm not very good at it. Uh, here's one for the New York Yankees. I've kept this one because of Sal Volcano, I'm sorry. This Harry Potter cauldron mug. It says Harry Potter on there. Very faintly, maybe, if you can see it. There's no like viewfinder thing on this camera. I'm just kind of holding it and talking into it. I have a matching cauldron bowl. This mug, which was my first very pretentious mug, it just says coffee on it. And I use it for tea mostly, which is kind of the joke. It's not a very good joke, but it was a funny thing to me when I was 14. This is another hot cocoa mug. I put hot cocoa in it. Again, it just it's brown and it has a little frothy top. Looks kind of like cocoa already. And then I have this very big one. I also got this at a thrift store. I don't remember which one, but it was not Goodwill. And it's very big. It's like a bowl. Sometimes I eat soup out of it. But I also have coffee and tea out of it. Another one has a very similar shape, but I got it in San Francisco in a tourist trap souvenir shop. But I like mugs, and I thought it was very interesting that it had a cable car and the Golden Gate Bridge on it. And then I have this metal one. I believe I got this at Goodwill or some other, maybe a, the flea market or a thrift store. But it does say quality product of China on the bottom and I don't use it often because I'm afraid to like break it or stain it and um, it looks really cool on the inside and I don't want that to go away. I have this Star Wars mug. I got this at a convention, I believe. It says Star Wars on this side and it has the logo on the back. I also have this logo on a pillow and also on a hat. So one day you're gonna see me with this and the hat and the pillow all in one shot and it's gonna be great and I've, the video is gonna have nothing to do with Star Wars probably. This is actually a teacup but I thought it was cute and small and clear. I found it at a thrift store, not Goodwill. It was actually a thrift store directly next door to Goodwill. But it was not Goodwill. 
Next we have this mug. It says creepy, spelled out in little moons. I got this the day after Halloween or on Halloween, I can't remember, on a very deep discount. It was like $1.60. And it says Home Essentials on the bottom, but that was not the name of the store. I feel like it was something like, not Peerless, but something that started with a P and it was not Pier 1. So I don't know where I got this. It was like in the same shopping center as a PetSmart because I was applying somewhere else and I was waiting for an interview and I was in town already and I wanted to go to PetSmart and look at hamsters and birds and lizards and snakes and cats and I don't think I saw puppies. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I saw puppies when I was there. Next we have one of my favorite mugs. It's my Impractical Jokers mug. I got this from the Impractical Jokers website. I think it was $12, it might have been more. Not sure. Here's another very big mug, it says Spooky. I got this at Kroger in the, the after Halloween sales and it was half off. I think it was maybe $2 and I think full price was $4. And I love this mug a lot. It also holds an entire four cup <laughs> coffee maker pot of coffee. It says trick or treat and it has witches on it and my mom bought it. And now we finally have my last and my latest mug, my newest mug purchase. It has Bugs Bunny on it. I got it at Goodwill and I call him Mugs Bunny. And that's it. Thank you for watching my mug collection. Oh no, no, this is a very important mug. Do you see it, do you see it, do you see it? Uh, it's from the good guys. So here's here's my goodbye. Signing, signing off, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, hit that like button. By the way, I got a new camera. This is my camera. This is my camera. It has a speck on the lens and it does not, uh, sometimes you can see in the recording, see where you can see the fuzziness. But I was waiting for new batteries so I can film new stuff with it. And uh, I got batteries last night. I wanted to do a mug collection, so I did a mug collection. You're welcome, no one asked for it. Not that anyone asks for any of my videos, but you're welcome. And I have a couple other videos in the works. And they might take a while to get up because I have very little motivation sometimes. So yeah, for the final time, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, and that's it. That's all I got. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.